everybody, and welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Apubarama, and in today's video, I'll be doing a garage tour on my Broke to Billions account. I have been waiting a very long time to do this garage tour, specifically because I purchased a bunch of cars on stream, and then just never upgraded them. So I had to sort all the cars, put them in the correct garages, and then I had to upgrade them accordingly. It took me a while. It took me about two, three weeks to finish upgrading all the cars, and finally, I'm able to showcase my garages and what I've been able to achieve in about six months of grinding in my Broke to Billions account. Now, I should say that I've spent about $600 million on this account, and I would say an easy 550 of those million dollars were spent on cars. I'm a big car guy, and, well, you're gonna see that as I have a lot of cars to showcase. The first garage, as we're gonna take a look at, you can see we're already at, is my agency garage. Now, my agency garage is my supercar garage, but I have, I think, two supercar garages in total. I'm working on my third right now, but it only has one car in it, so there's really no point to show it. Up top here, we have the Coil... I don't remember what this car is called. The Coil Cyclone, that's right. This is an electric supercar. I think it's pretty nice looking. Nothing too crazy though. Uh, I don't even I don't even think I've driven it. I think I purchased it when it was on sale, threw it in this garage, and called it a day. Down here we got a lot of purdy killers. We've got the uh, Truffade Nero, we got the Truffade Thrax. I think both of these cars look absolutely fantastic, both obviously based off of different Bugattis. I think this might be the Devo, and this is the Chiron. Uh, let me know if I'm wrong in the comments though. Then we've got the LM87, which is some sort of Le Mans car. We've got the Pegasio Cyrus, and as well we have the Turismo R, one of the old Oldies, but I gotta say, this car looks absolutely fantastic for how old it is, especially after Rockstar revamped it. Over here, we got the Anis RE7B. We've got the, oh wait, wait, I can remember this, the Vapid FMJ. Yes, my brain cells worked. We've got the Karen RS uh, supercar version. Yeah, Sultan RS. Uh, over here, we have the, oh, this is one of my favorite cars in the game, by the way. This is the Progen Itali GTB Custom. I know there's a basic Itali GTB variant as well that you can get without upgrading inside of Benny's, but I just think the Itali GTB Custom looks way, way better. And then we have another Le Mans car here. I always forget this one's name. That's right, the Anis S80RR. Down the stairs we go. Also, how many of you are annoyed by me not collecting that $250,000 in my wall safe? I'll be honest, it just filled up, so that's why I haven't collected it. We've got um, another Pegasi here. This is the Zorusso. I love this car. I think that it looks super sick just because of the back design. You can also make it, I'm pretty sure, a convertible, but you have to go to the sh custom shop and actually take off the hood. We've got the Torero XO, which a lot of people absolutely love. we got another Pegasi or the Ignis, and then we've got the Grotti Itali RSX. Now, I know that this isn't a supercar, and I didn't realize that when I first purchased this car, so I accidentally sent it to the wrong garage, so I do need to swap this one out to my sports car garage and then put a supercar in here. Uh, which I think I do have one sitting around, so I guess I'll do that uh, after this video is done. Over here, we've got one of the electric cars, the Pegasi Tesseract. Absolutely sick looking vehicle. I think that this uh, paint job just absolutely looks stunning on the car. Off to the other side, we got the Fister 811 and the Devastate. I really like the Devastate on handling and performance. I absolutely hate the look of it. I just think it looks so freaking weird, like it was almost beat with an iron skillet until the, the back of it was just flattened out. I do love my Fister 811, though. I've already made a full review on the car. That's how much I love it. Over here, we got the Entity XXR, which is based off the Entity XF in this game, just the newer version. In real life, it's some sort of Koenigsegg. And then we got the Banshee 900R, which is another absolutely sick vehicle. All of these cars, I think, are pretty dang sick. There's a lot of them, and this is just one of my supercar garages. So let's just take out... Doesn't really matter. Let's just take out the Zorusso. We're going to make our way over now to my office building, which has three separate garages. I'm a pretty OCD person, so I like to um, organize my garages specifically to what type of car I have in them. So I don't remember which was my supercar garage, but I think it's office garage two. So we'll take a look at the supercar garage first, and then we'll go to the uh, weaponized garage, and then we'll take a look at the sports classics garage. I actually have two sports classics garages at this point. Uh, I think I own every single sports classics except the Casco, and it's by accident because I accidentally removed my Casco from one of my garages and replaced it with another car. So, uh, big rip from me. So here we are. This is correct, my supercar garage. So, starting off, we got the Ocelot XA21, one of my favorite sounding cars in the game, and it's also fantastic on handling. It's got a pop-up spoiler at the back. 
absolutely amazing. We also got the Benefactor Krieger and as well the Emerus here. Both of these vehicles are amazing, very similar in price tag and very similar in performance, and that is why I wanted to put these two cars here together. Uh, another video, I'm pretty sure people corrected me, told me the Emerus is actually not all-wheel drive and is specifically rear-wheel drive. However, the Krieger is all-wheel drive and that is the advantage to the Krieger. So that is your two differences between those cars. If you want handling, you go for the Emerus. If you want all over handling and not spinning out, then go for the Krieger. Over here, we have the Ardent, I think this, no, the Autark. The Ardent is a sports classic. The Autark is actually a pretty rare vehicle to see on the streets of Grand Theft Auto, but I actually think this is one of the nicest looking cars in the game, personally, and uh, it's actually got some of the best handling and top speed out there. Very impressive vehicle, and it still holds some of the top 10 values. This is one of the oldest cars in the game. This is the Grotti Cheetah. Super, super old. I don't love the look of the Cheetah. I don't think it's bad. I just don't love it either, but I figured I'd pick it up just to fill in my garage. And then we also got the Overflawed Zeno. Zeno, I never know how to pronounce it, but very weird looking vehicle. Not exactly sure what it's based off of in real life. It's not my favorite looking car, but it's pretty fun to drive, especially because it has a top speed that's like close to 130 miles per hour. So it's just a pretty dang fun vehicle. Up to level two. Oh, oh, oh. I need to stop eating those donuts. All right, this here, one of my favorite sounding cars in the game and just one of my favorite cars, period, the Progen Tyrus. Absolutely love the vehicle. I love the way it looks. This is, I think, based off a of McLaren F1 GT. Uh, a lot of people have told me there's a couple other cars it's based off as well, like maybe a Celine, but I personally think it's the McLaren F1 GT. We also have the ETR1, which is based off the Lexus LFA. I love this car. I remember back in the day when Cunning Stunts came out, I picked up just because I thought it looked so weird. And uh, I gotta say, Definitely was the correct choice to buy. Absolutely love the look of the vehicle. Uh, next up, we got the Progen T20. This is an oldie, but it still looks amazing and it handles really dang well. It's got a pop-up spoiler. You gotta love the pop-up weighing. I mean, it just looks sick. We also got the Zen Torno, another really old vehicle, but it got a bit of a revamp with liveries and spoiler options. And I gotta say, absolutely amazing livery. I love the look of the Zen Torno. Absolutely amazing car. So super excited to have this in my, like, my garage. The SC1 over here, I think this is the Ubermach. Yes, uh, it's based off some sort of BMW. Don't love it. This is by far one of the ugliest supercars, at least in my opinion, because everybody's opinion is subjective to themselves, but I do think that this is probably the ugliest supercar in the game. It's just not good on handling, not good on anything, although it does have some cool wheels. Apart from that, uh, yeah, not a big fan of it. We got the Wagner over here, which is another very cool vehicle. This might be based off the Aston Martin Valkyrie, might be wrong, uh, but it's one of those weird one-off cars. Very cool, love the handling, and it's actually one of the cheaper cars for how dang impressive it is on handling. This one over here, I always forget the name of, that's right, the Vision. The Vision is a super awesome looking car, and I have to say, I think I put like a wine red pearlescent on this, and man, does that just simmer in the sunlight so dang well. So that is level two of our supercar garage, but we're not done yet. Oh boy, this is gonna be a long video. Now we go up to level three. Now my third level is just once again the same thing. We have here the X80 Proto, a vehicle that is pretty cool. I think this is based off the Ferrari F80 in real life or something like that. It's a cool car, but it's got a couple handling bugs and I don't know, it's always just been too expensive for me to ever love. Next up, we've got the Progen GP1, which is based off a of McLaren P1. I really like the car, looks nice, handles okay. It's a cheaper vehicle, so even though it's not impressive on handling, it does look really nice and it's an okay car. Over here, we've got the Tempesta. I know this name right off the bat because the Tempesta is one of the best handling cars in the game, especially bang for the buck. I think it's like 1.3 mil. It looks amazing. This is definitely based off some sort of Aventador, but uh, absolutely love the car. This one, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I've ever driven. It's the Tygon. It's, uh, it's just a weird car. The front of it makes me think of like a fish. Uh, the back's mid. I'm just not a huge fan of this vehicle, to be completely honest. It looks kind of like the new Pantera in real life, the De Tomaso, but, um, yeah, not a huge fan of the car. This one as well, pretty mid, the Taipan. It's, uh, it's another just really weird car. No clue what it's based off of. Somebody can let me know in the comments, but... 
It's a car. I, I do actually like the look of it. The problem is it just doesn't have good handling, which kind of lets it down a lot. We got the Pegasi Vaca here. This is one of the original supercars added into the game. It's based off probably the Gallardo or something like that, one of the basic Lamborghinis. Uh, it's not anything impressive, but it is a very cheap supercar. I think it's like 240000 or something around there. Maybe it's 400000 but all I know is it's a very cheap vehicle, and it, it's actually a pretty decent bang for your buck, especially if you're a newer player. And then we're finishing off here with a very large vehicle, the Tyrant. I don't know why the Tyrant is so freaking thick, but it's thick with two C's. Look at this thing. It's a cool vehicle, very fast, decent handling. I just don't like the way the Tyrant looks. So now we got to run all the way down our stairs, all the way down. <sighs> I wish I could just yeet myself over the railing and just not take damage, but unfortunately, or, you know, they could just like have an elevator at the top of the level as well. But I, you know, some dev at Rockstar is like, ha ha, we're not going to put a level or a, a garage floor at the top that you can go down to. No. All right, now we're going to take a look at my armored cars. Now, this one is not full yet. I should point out that my uh, Terea door is not in this garage because it is in my Kosatka, and neither are my uh, some of my, like, my Presser Mark IIs inside of my Terabyte. So some of my armored vehicles are obviously not here, but the majority of them are and have been moved here. So we have, obviously, the Half-Track, one of the coolest vehicles in the game, the Weaponized Tampa, the APC. This one is the Paragon R armor. Very, very cool vehicle, and actually pretty dang good for uh, what it is. We've also got the Duco Death, one of my favorite looking muscle cars. I can't tell you how many times when this vehicle first came out, I tried to get it on Xbox 360, but it was only the newer generation consoles. We also here have a very, very cool vehicle, which is the Patriot. Is it the Mammoth? No, it is the Mammoth. Yeah, the Mammoth Patriot mil spec. I love the mil spec. It's based off a Hummer, the original Hummer, which uh, is pretty dang sweet. So yeah, here's a fun fact. If I'm not mistaken, Arnold Schwarzenegger bought the first ever um, civilian Hummer. I might be wrong. You can correct me in the comments if I am, but I think he did buy the first ever one, which just fits him so well. Up the next floor, we have the Armored Karuma, obviously a absolute ace of a vehicle. We've got the Obey Ominous EGT, I think. Yes. And then the, uh, oh crap, uh, the Dubachi Champion. That's right. I always forget the names. Champion's another fantastic card. Not very fast, only top speed of like 124, but very good handling and very, very nice looking. And of course, it's armored. We've got the Scramjet, which is, uh, it might be based off the old Batmobile. I might be wrong, but that's at least what I think it's based off of. And then we also have over here the new Batmobile. So both of these vehicles are very cool. I like them a lot. And, uh, Pretty fun, pretty fun to mess around with, especially with the homing missiles. Uh, we've obviously got the Insurgent, and then this one is the Technical Custom. Very, very cool vehicle. I like the Technical Custom a lot, actually. It's uh, one of my more favorited vehicles, especially because it can drop explosive mines. The final level on the garage, I don't think I have too much in yet. I only have four cars out of the, uh, the ten in total I can have up here. We've got the Zaba. Just kind of a Ukrainian-style camo on it. We've got a... Uh, Stromberg, that's right, and then the Deluxo, and finishing off with the Buffalo STX. So that is my armored vehicle garage. I'm almost getting it full. Uh, there's definitely some armored vehicles I can purchase, kind of like the Gallivanter Baller armored, and uh, I can definitely get the Shafter V12 armored, which I probably will pick up. I've just been a little preoccupied, still trying to fill up my other garages and getting them all sorted out. So, final garage we're going to take a look at in this area is my Office Garage 3, which is my Sports Classics garage. My Auto Shop also has another Sports Classics garage. We'll take a look at that uh, after, I guess. But I love sports classics. I don't know if I've said this enough, but they are my favorite types of vehicles in the game. I'd love to get one in real life. So that's why I try to make my sports classics look as shiny and crisp as possible. The Monroe here is based off the Lamborghini Muaira, Mira. I never know how to pronounce it correctly because I'm not uh, Italian, but absolutely amazing car in Grand Theft Auto. I wish it had pop-up headlights, but I still think the car looks amazing. We've also got the Ocelot. I always forget the name. Swinger. That's right. The Ocelot Swinger. Very cool vehicle. Not my style of car, but definitely a cool ocelot, Jaguar. We also got this, which is, I think, the Chebrek? Yes, the Rune Chebrek, which is probably some crappy Russian car from, like, the Soviet era. 
It's a cool vehicle. I think it actually looks nice, um, but it is pretty crappy. Uh, we also got the Pegasi... Uh, Lampadati Pegali. That's right. This is actually a Ferrari. Very, very nice Ferrari. I love this car. It's one of the most underrated vehicles in the game, especially because it has very, very good handling for a sports classics. This is the GT500, which is obviously based off the Ferrari, and super, super nice car. I love the look of it. Tried to make it look as realistic as possible. I really like that design. And this here, probably my favorite sports classics in the game next to the Casco, which in real life is the Pantera de Tommaso, which was basically a similar design to the uh, uh, Lamborghini... Ah, oh, crap, my brain's farting. There you go, my brain finally kicked in. The Lamborghini Countach is what this vehicle reminds me of, but it's made by a completely different person, and I absolutely love the vehicle. Up the stairs we go, to break my shins we go, up the stairs... Ah. All right, next up we got the Sterling GT, the Stinger GT, not Sterling, two Stinger GTs actually, just one's not a GT. Both of these vehicles are very nice. I do think the Stinger GT looks a bit nicer. The back's, uh, I just think the Stinger GT is such a good looking car for how old it is. Stinger's mid. Um, the Coquette Classic is, uh, the Coquette Blackfin is actually not a sports classic. So this is a muscle, but I have it in this garage because, let's be real, it's a 1960s Corvette. It's a classic. We also have the Coquette Classic, which is a 63 Corvette, I think. It should be around that era. Uh, very nice Corvette. Absolutely love the design. Very nice car. We also got the Ocelot Penetrator, another supercar, but as I did say, any car that's really a sports classics in era, I put in this garage. So this car in real life is a Jaguar XJ220, which was one of the fastest cars ever built. I think it's a 90s car, and uh, I kind of count it as a sports classic. We also have the Cobra here. Absolutely fantastic looking vehicle there. And we've got one more level to go again. Up, up. Uh, up, up, and up we are at the final level. We've got the Hot Knife, I think that's what it's called, I've never really driven it yet, yeah, the Vapid Hot Knife. Kind of a mediocre looking vehicle in my opinion, nothing special about it, but um, it's cool. I don't know how your character fits in the vehicle, it's such a small car, look at this thing. <laughs> I mean, it's just tiny, but uh, still a pretty fun vehicle. We've got the Ardent here, which I absolutely love, this is based off the Lotus Esprit. I would love to buy one of these in real life, but they're going up in price, they're like $70,000 now, but I do love the Lotuses. Uh, we also got this, which is the Vapid Hustler. I tried to make it look a little bit rusty, but like a dragster, I think it looks pretty nice. Uh, over here, we have the Ubermach Zion Classic. Very, very cool. Probably 80s or 90s BMW. I think it looks nice, though. Uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of uh, Beamers. And then we've got the Roosevelt Valor. And finishing off with one of my favorite dual-wing Mercedes, the Benefactor Sterling GT. All right, well, that is a conclusion on our garage here. I guess I'll just take this car out. I'm not going to run all the way down and then call in a car. So the next garage we're going to go to is, hmm, let's go to my nightclub garage. Even though I said I was going to go to the auto shop because it's the rest of my sports classics, my auto shop is over here and my nightclub is right here. I mean, it's literally right down the road. So might as well go to this one. Let's just take a bit of a shortcut through the shopping plaza. They won't mind at all. Don't worry about me. Just gonna turn over here and... Oh, crap. Crashed my car a little bit. And we are here. All right. Yeet. Now, this is a sports garage. All three levels are sports cars. So, um, instead of having my office garage as a sports garage, I just made this in. And we're in the wrong level. Crap. Basement level two. All right, here we go. At least we don't have to run up and down the stairs, although I guess this loading screen takes just about as long. So, sports cars, here we go. We got the Elegy RH8, R8? Yeah, RH8, I was right. The Elegy, Elegy, I never know how to pronounce it. Absolutely fantastic car. Um, I just really love it. It's the Nissan GTR in real life. Super nice car, though. We've also got the Neo, I think this one is, yes. There's a car that looks very similar to this, but this one is the Neo. I love the Neo. I didn't used to like it a lot, but it's kind of grown on me over the years, and it's a super fast sports car, super good looking as well, so very fun. We've got a little Tropos Rally here, super fun car to just mess around with, go off-road in, one of my favorite rally cars in the game. We also have the Fister Comet S2, just kind of a normal looking Comet, but I tried to make it look like a rally car, 
I don't know why. I just thought it would look a bit cooler because you don't expect to see a rally Porsche. So I think it looks nice. We also got the hot ring saber here, which we all know what this is. It's just a hot ring, uh, kind of a NASCAR vehicle. It's decent, nothing too special about it, but Sprunk Extreme. Over here, we've got the Ocelot Praia. Everybody has to own one of those. It's pretty dang crazy. We also got the Emperor Vector. I actually really like the Vector. It's a really fun vehicle to just drive around in. It's got great handling. It looks really nice. So uh, yeah, I like it. This might be based off the Lexus RCF in real life. I might be wrong. Somebody can correct me in the comments. We got the Schlagen GT right here, or the Schlong GT, I like to call it. This is obviously based off a of Mercedes AMG GT. Very nice car. Sounds absolutely amazing. Should actually be in the muscles class, in my opinion. We've got the Coquette D10, which is based off one of the newer generation Corvettes. Not exactly sure which one, but uh, definitely the newer 2000s. And then we obviously got the Comet Safari, one of my favorite off-road sports cars in the game. Definitely would suggest to pick up a Comet Safari. Now we move on to Garage Level 2, or 3, I guess that's what the game calls it, but I count it as Level 2. Once again, we are going to be bombarded with more sports cars, and I actually really like the colors in this garage. Now, I don't think this counts as a sports car, I might be wrong, let me see. Yeah, it's actually a sedan, the Ubermach Reinhardt, but, I mean... It's got a sports car engine. It goes as fast as a sports car. So it's in my sports car garage because I'm not going to make a sedan garage. I think the car looks really nice though and it's pretty dang fast actually. We got a Supra. I mean, anything else needed to be said, it's a Supra. We also got the Panthere. This is a very, very cool vehicle. Um, it's not available yet, as you can see. It's a bit bugged right now. Uh, my modder friend helped me get this car into the garage, but I can't do anything with it. If I try to drive it, it bugs out, as you can see. So it's in my garage, but I can't do anything with it. But I do think the car looks very nice. Nice, and uh, well, I managed to get it in my garage. Over here, we have another very nice car. This is the new Supra, the Dinker, Dinka Jester RR. I really like this paint job on it, especially with that midnight blue. I just think it looks really, really nice. Over here, we got the Anis ZR350. This is a very nice car as well. Uh, maybe an RX-7 this is based off of. I guess you can correct me in the comments again, but very nice car. I really like the paint job I put on it. I just think it's a super, super nice looking vehicle. Over here, this is the car that I thought kind of looked like the Neo from the front. It's super similar. This is the Lampadati Corsita. I like the car a lot. I think it's based off maybe a Maserati in real life, but either way, super, super nice car. We've got the Obey 8F Drafter. I also really like the Drafter. It's kind of like a Mustang mixed with an Audi, which I think is two very, very cool designs. So I really like that a lot. We got another Fister here, the Fister Comet S2 Cabrio. It's, it's Fister. I mean, it, in real life, it's a Porsche. It, it just reminds me of a Porsche Boxster, and that's probably what it's based off of. Over here, we have another Fister. This is the Comet SR mid car. I really like the look of it. My dad actually owned one of these cars in real life, so uh, I really I made it look exactly like my dad's car. And then finishing off, we have the Vapid GB200, which is a little awesome uh, Ford RS200 in real life, which is a rally car. Love the vehicle, super fun to drive, and I, I really like the car. We finish off with basement level four. All right, well, I've got some bad news, or not bad news, just stupid news. My game black screen, so I had to, I had to freaking reload the entire game. And now we're gonna go back into Garage 4, and now it loads me in instantly. Thank you, Rockstar, thank you so much. Anyway, in Garage 4, we have, yes, I remember this garage now. We've got the Ubermach Cypher, very nice vehicle. I really like this uh, type of, like, brown. I don't know exactly what the color is, I just think this brown looks really nice, especially on a BMW. We've got this, which is my favorite looking sports car in the game, the Ocelot Lynx. I just love the way the Lynx looks. I know it's not the most special car on handling or anything like that. It's extremely overpriced, but I just love the way it looks. We also got the Cinquemila. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not good on pronunciation. I made this car a very, very nice blue, le bleu, as you can see. I just think it looks pretty sweet. And we also got the Fister Neon here, which is based off the Porsche Taycan in real life. I really like it. Tried to make it look like the real life Porsche Taycan as well. Over here, we got a little dinky Dinka RT3000. Very nice car, very small, but super fun. And I really like the uh, paint scheme. Over here, we got one of my favorite looking cars as well, the Fister Comet Retro Custom. Absolutely amazing looking car. I just, I can never get uh, amazed with, or never not gonna amaze with looking at this car. Rockstar did a fantastic job on that vehicle. We got another Ubermach here, the Ubermach Sentinel Classic, just your average 90s Beamer. 
Moving on, we've got one of my favorites, a Ocelot Locust, just a little dinky Lotus. Super fun to drive around, super good on handling, and I think it looks actually pretty nice. We've got a Ferrari, the Ferrari Italy GTO, very nice vehicle. And finishing off, we have the Obey 10F. A lot of cars in this garage, a lot of fun ones. A lot of not so fun ones that I just threw in here because I had to fill up this garage. But um, overall, I normally like to drive a lot of my sports cars because they are pretty dang fun. The next garage we're going to be making our way over to is my next sports classics garage. We've just got so many garages. I don't think I'm going to go into my arena garage. Um, the arena garage right now just has... They're not even full. I don't think there's even a lot of vehicles in them. For now, it's just a couple... Not a couple, it's probably like 10 or maybe even 20 Apocalypse vehicles and stuff like that. Um, but it, it's not really a special garage, so I'm just showcasing the cars that I think look really nice. So we're just going to make our way through here, make our way over to the auto shop. And the only other garage I think I have, if I'm not mistaken, is is my... Oh wow, I was just on a, two wheels there. But I think the only other garage I have is my open wheel garage, which only has four cars in it. So, I mean, I have a couple other garages with some cars here and there, uh, but for the most part, it's that garage and I've got my off-road garage and that's about it. All right, but we're gonna take a look to begin with at this garage. There's not many cars in here because it is a sports classics garage, but this is my wall of favorite cars here. These are all my favorite sports classics. I think they all are in the same era as well. So yeah, gotta have all these cars here. They look absolutely sick. And then off to this side, we've got the Rap GT Classic. We got the Dubachi JB700W, the Retinue. There's the Casco. I did get the Casco back. I thought I did. Yeah. Okay. I love the Casco. Such a nice looking car. And then over here, we got the Anis Silvestra. These cars is here as well. I might as well go over. We obviously got the Z-Type. Love the Z-Type. Super cool Bugatti. We've got the Infernus Classic, the Turismo Classic, the Cheetah Classic, and to finish off, the Pegasi Torero. Love all these vehicles, but we're going to leave here in style. We're going to leave in the Casco, because as I've said, just one of my favorite looking cars in the game. And we're going to head over to... Let me see what garages we got left. Um, we're going to go to this garage, because it's right here. And then I'll make a jump cut to my final garage because it's all the way down at the airport. But yes, this next garage only has four cars in it. I wish there was a four car garage. I was looking to buy one and I was going to put all of my open wheel cars in there. But unfortunately, the smallest garage is two cars and the next largest is six. And there's no four in between. So I'm really sad about that because right now there's only six open wheel cars. So yeah, it doesn't really work out too well. But at least I still have a garage for them. Maybe I'll throw in some of my Le Mans cars in here and call it a day. Oh, God, no! Okay, we're fine. Almost just pile drive a couple people there, but they are still alive. All right. I'm not going to drive my car into the garage because, as I said, there are no cars in the garage apart from four. But here we go. Now, open wheel cars I personally don't love. I'm not a huge fan of F1. I know F1 is pretty cool. Um, but I'm never a huge fan of it, but these are my four F1 cars here. You can see I've got two Sprunk liveries, gotta love the Sprunk. And apart from that, yeah, that's about all there is. So, um, let's just take the, uh, nah, this one's a little bad on it. We'll just take the best one for handling, and I'm gonna go make my way over to my other garage. All right, we are almost there. Now, this last garage is my off-roading garage. I don't have that many off-road vehicles, only about ten of them right now. But I do love myself a good off-road vehicle. I think they are absolutely awesome to just mess around with, to go climbing mountains with. So, uh, yeah, off-road vehicles are da bomb. Just gotta make our way around here and, oops, crash my vehicle. This thing's turning radius is insane unless you're going at slow speeds. Then it's really, really bad. But we're at our garage, and let's get out and go into my off-roading area. All of these trucks are huge, and there's, like, one small vehicle. It's actually pretty funny. Yeah, it's just my tiny little, uh my uh, Dune FAV there, but this is probably one of my favorite garages just because these are all the vehicles I have the most fun with. So over here, we got the Guardian. This is by far one of the craziest and best off-road vehicles in the game. Then we've got the Dubsta 6x6, and then we have the Contender, absolutely amazing as well. Camacho is absolutely fantastic at off-roading, so is the Sand King. The Mace is pretty good. I would not say this vehicle's good. This is the Bobcat XL. I purchased this for a challenge, and that was about it. Off to the other side, we've got the Yosemite Rancher. I love the Rancher. It's not the best off-roader, but it just looks so nice. We got the Willys Jeep, 
And to finish it off, uh, we already went over this one, but the Dune FAV. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. This is my garage tour. There are definitely some vehicles I didn't get to show here that I do have. As I said, all of my Arena War vehicles I have, I'm not going to show because that's just a waste of a garage. And I have some cars scattered around, you know, some of my garages that are just like randomly across the map, like one here one here. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you'd like to see more like it, please consider smashing that subscribe button down below. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.